All right, so today I'm going to talk to you about John Murray, more specifically who he was and what he did to contribute to psychology. So let's start off with who he was, where he was from, and all that stuff. So John Murray was born July 8th, 1921 in New Zealand. He uh, taught philosophy and psychology at the University of Ontago before re relocating to the United States to pursue his uh, graduate studies. Uh, later, he became professor of medical psychology and pediatrics at John Hopkins University, where he studied, where he studied, uh, or he was involved with sexual behavior units, which studied sex reassignment uh, surgery. He was devoted to uh, his research. He devoted his research to sexual preferences, sexual orientations, gender, and sex differences. Uh, he won a lot of awards like uh, including the American Psychological Association Distinguished Scientific Award uh, and uh, the Masters and John Johnson fourth annual award and just a whole bunch of other ones like probably like I think it was like 36 in total that he's won is just a ridiculous amount and uh, he passed away in Maryland in 2006 for complications related to Parkinson's disease. But let's start talking about what he did to contribute to psychology. Uh, that sound, that sound good. Okay, so Money coined the term gender role and gender identity. Uh, he emphasized that one's gender role traits associated with one's public presentation of gender had to be learned. Um, so, like, if a woman walks who wears a uh, dress and high heels in public or well, is publicly displaying a cultural accepted female gender role, which is a learned behavior. Um, Money was one of the first scientists to acknowledge that one's biological sex may not correspond with his or her gender identity. And so with this he made, uh, he created uh, these things called love maps, which characterize and personalize I idealized partner and sexual preferences. And he made these, he made heterosexual and homosexual love maps. And uh, apparently love maps are associated with sexual preferences and kinks so it, it just gets really into it and it's gotten to uh, he makes a whole bunch of them like uh, love maps for paraphilix, uh, klismaphilix, and zoophilix and uh, that's kind of uh, yeah so what he really studied the most was uh, pedophilia. In particular, he studied the identity and distinction between love-based attraction to children and sadistic pedophilia. Um, sadistic pedophilia, uh, according to Money, ab abused and sometimes even killed their victims. Uh, affectionately, pedophilia, by contrast, was due to uh, eroticized, eroticized parental love, and money emphasized that this type of pedophilia had little to do with sex. Um, basically, he uh, brought a better understanding to sexual premises and uh, uh, just so we could know ourselves more and we could know more about pedophiles and all this stuff, he just opened our mind to uh, understand why people do certain things and why people are attracted to certain things and all this stuff like even though you may be a girl you want to be a guy or right? even though you may be a guy you want to be a girl uh, and this is the kind of stuff that he studied he kind of just figured out why we would think these things or why we would want these things or it's just I don't know he's a pretty cool guy He's a pretty cool guy, and he's really smart. Um, so yeah, I hope that uh, has helped you uh, have a better understanding of who Johnny Money was and what he did and all that stuff. Um, if you have any more questions, just ask me, I guess. Bye.